Hey everybody, it's your helpful High Plains Librarian here, and we've got this video set up to show you how to check out, download, and read books on your Amazon Kindle or through your Kindle app, which is very exciting because this has only become available today. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up your web browser or internet window and head over to our website, which is mylibrary.us. You can also just Google search mylibrary.us or High Plains Library District. And we're going to go over to this media tab here on the left. And if you go to that without clicking, you can see we've got ebooks fiction and ebooks nonfiction in this drop down menu. So go ahead and click either one of those. And that's going to take us to the Overdrive page. Now, what we've got here is the main page. And what I always suggest, I know we're excited to get downloading is that you go to the upper right and sign in very first thing because that makes sure that whatever we put in the cart is ready to go for us. So I'm going to sign in real quick. And I'm in. I'm going to take us back to this right here, Digital Media Home, so we can see what all is available. Now, the easiest way to find everything that's available for the Kindle is to go to this advanced search click that and you'll see all these options and you can under this format search click Kindle book if you have that selected and click search this will bring back everything that's available for the Kindle at this time so you can see right now we've got about 1200 titles available now I happen to know that most of them as you can see because it says place a hold are checked out at this time so I'm going to go ahead and go to the very last page and see if we might have something more available. Okay, so here we go. We're going to check out the fire. So what you need to do, you look at the record for the fire. Down here, you see Kindle book, and you can see the little icon of the Kindle. If that's not there, it does not work on the Kindle. If you see a record that only shows, you know, Adobe PDF ebook that will not work on your Kindle. It must say Kindle Book. So that's the one I want. I'm going to click Add to Cart. That takes us to a pretty familiar screen. This is just a uh, screen to confirm our checkout and all that. You could continue browsing if you weren't done. Or if you're done, you can proceed to checkout. Or if I click that one by accident, I can remove. I'm going to go ahead and say Proceed to Checkout. Now this is something pretty cool that's exclusive to the Kindle at this point. You can pick a 7 or a 14 day checkout, but what's great about the Kindle is it's the only device where you can return the books early. So you can have 10 titles out at a time, but you can turn one in the moment you're done with it and then check out another one. On an other device, you check it out for 7 days and you have it for 7 days. There's no early returns. So if you did check out 10 items at once for 7 days, and you read them all in the first three days, you have four days without books. But on the Kindle, you can turn them in the moment you're done. They act a lot more like a normal library book, which is a great feature. So I'm going to leave this at seven days, and I'm going to click this Confirm Checkout here at the bottom. All right, so this tells me what I've got, when I checked it out, and when it's going to expire. So that means I've got these seven days to read it. Now here's where it gets a little different. You've got this button, Get for Kindle. Go ahead and click that, and it's going to open up a new tab or a new window on Amazon.com. Okay, and it'll look a lot like when you buy an item on Amazon.com. It shows the title here. It gives you a little bit of info right here. And what you're really looking for on the right side is where it says Get Library Book. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I need to type in all my credentials right here. Now once you've logged in, you'll see the option to deliver to a device. So let's say that you don't have the Wi-Fi available to add the title to your Kindle. You can also do it by plugging it into your computer via the USB port and transferring it, assuming that your computer has internet access. So here's what you're going to need to do. First you plug in your Kindle using the provided cord. It should be a white cord that plugs into the port on the bottom of your Kindle and then attaches to a USB port. Then you're going to go ahead and get on Amazon.com and log in up here at the top. And you see you're logged in here. Then you're going to go down on this menu on the left side to Kindle 
and in that menu you're going to go all the way to the bottom and click manage your Kindle. Okay, that'll take you to a screen that looks just like this. So you can see what we've got checked out from the public library here. So if I don't have wireless available, what I'll need to do is go to this actions button and say download and transfer via USB. So when you click that, it'll show you what you've got and what you want to transfer it to. So in this case, it also tells you exactly step by step what you're going to need to do. So we're going to download the title, use our USB cable to connect, and then the book will show up on the computer and we need to copy the file into the Kindle's documents folder. So we're going to do that step by step. So we're going to hit download. And then we're going to save it in a folder where you can remember where it is. Then I'm going to go to my computer and I saved mine in the downloads folder. So here we've got it right here, the fire a novel. So what you can do is right click on that, select copy, and then over here on the left side we'll see my Kindle. It looks just like a flash drive. If I click on that, I'll see the documents folder as I was instructed. Double click and open that, and then you can just right click and paste this anywhere in the documents folder, and you will be all set and ready to read.